going everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Spongebob's Core Fans, Revenge of the Flying Dust Dutchman, and I am now a mermaid man, apparently. Look at look at my tiny little, almost floating green gloves. Don't they look like they're floating? Uh, last episode, we finished up downtown after missing some doubloons, but I finally found them. It's horrible. Worst time ever. Well, not really. But anyways, um, yeah, we got the mermaid man suit as well. Actually, that might have been the episode before. But anyways... I don't know why I'm really still wearing this. I don't really need it anymore. In fact, let's go back to the change tent right now. Because in this episode, we're going to be starting a new level. Okay, so we're going to switch to the fishing gear. Because, yeah, actually, hold on a second here. Oh, we don't even need to do that. Do we have to enter? Yeah, have to re-enter. So, uh, let's, let's just be normal square pants. You know what? We have this lovely music. It sounds very like beginning of the game because it really is. <laughs> it says the fishing gear is really, I mean, it's this. You never really get, really get to hear this very often. So, Squidward is just asleep. Let's let's go see. Yeah, we have enough money now. Well, well, maybe I won't have to sit out here all week after all. The acorn is yours. I'm sure Sandy will love it. Yay! Acorns! Take the acorn, Sandy. So I was really confused the first time I saw this because like, oh, okay, I got the acorn now, but it's still here. Uh, okay, maybe if I just go to Sandy's tree dome, it'll automatically bring it to her. No, you could actually walk up to it and pick it up, which I thought was weird. I did, I had no idea you could do that the first time I played this, but uh, yeah, that gave me a lot of issues. I could not figure out how the heck to deal with it. Actually, I just just say that I thought I was gonna tell profile. Let's let's go back. Let's go in there first without bringing her the the um. The acorn, see what she says. <clears throat> I'm sure she'll have very exciting things I to say. I'm, I'm always, I always, sorry, I keep forgetting that these loading skin takes forever. <gasps> wow. I love visiting Sandy in her tree dome. Where else in Bikini Bottom can you worry about dying from all this air? <laughs> That's strange. I don't feel as dry as I usually do, and I don't need my helmet at all. Oh. The ground in here is soaking wet. Oh no, she looks very concerned. Hey, Bob, get your squishy little body over here. Help! I'm gonna go help her. Sandy, what is wrong? You look very concerned with the fact there's giant cracks in your tree dome and you're gonna flood and you're gonna die. You're not gonna have a home anymore. It's gonna be horrible. <sighs> what? I'm over here. What? What happened in here, Sandy? I got all fired up after our karate match and wanted to practice some more, but I guess I got carried away because I accidentally poked some holes in the dome. This place is filling up faster than 11 gallons in a 10-gallon hat. What can I do to help? See if you can find something to plug the holes in the dome. You've got to plug all the holes to stop the water from coming in. Oh, Sandy. Okay, so we have a bunch of doubloons in here as well, so we're going to try and collect all those. This, this is actually an entire level, which I really like. And I'm pretty sure I complained about my battle for Bikini Bottom Let's Play, and probably the movie video game as well. Well, maybe not. That there's no like tree dome level, and I felt I always feel like it would be it's a great place to have a level. And I guess there was kind of like a mini um, level in Battle for Bikini Bottom, but it was very small. Uh, but there's finally like an actual full fledged level in here. And while I will admit it is a pretty small level, it's still something. I gotta say though, this is definitely the smallest level in the game. We're probably gonna finish it up in this episode, to be honest, or maybe the next episode. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, obviously there's these giant acorns laying around for some reason. So I'm gonna just throw them, and that kind of teleports in. Yeah, there's ten holes. So it's like golf, you know. Well, I guess nine holes is golf, but whatever. There's nine holes now, so that's kind of like golf. So what we're gonna do is we'll find the acorns and go. Bloop. It's, it's kind of weird sometimes because you'll throw it and then oftentimes it'll kind of miss. It's very kind of finicky how it works. Also, I'm pretty sure if we break this. Oh, no, I thought we got to blue. I'm sorry, Sandy. I broke your freaking picnic basket. Your picnic basket for no reason. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, let's plug this hole with this acorn. So there's no real, like, challenge with this. Yeah, there we go. I knew I was going to have issues with these. Do I just got to set them right in the water and throw it? Nope. Oh. I guess I do uh, maybe jump a bit. That's weird. I did not press the pickup button there, but it still worked. There we go. It's weird. The, the detection spot for when it allows you to put the acorn in is very strange. Give me the acorn. Bam. Nope. See, it looked like I was like high enough there that the arc of my jump would be able to have a plop into the hole. But it was not. It was not. 
I don't remember there's being a freaking tree root in Sandy's tree dome like this. Psh, psh. Crunch up the air! Alright. Five holes left. Actually, I guess this would be a good spot to uh, take a look at our to-do list in here. Plug all the leaks, so we're on that right now. Window jumping. Hmm. Take a bird bath. I don't even remember what that one is. Running on the wheel. Defeat Sandy in a karate match. Uh, bring down the hive. What hive? Pfft. Across the highest branches, gather 100 doubloons in the tree dome. Catch 10 bees and wasps. Find the Dutchman's treasure. Oh, wait, that's not a letter. That's just, that's just a to-do. You know, the to-do-do-do. So much money. Sandy, why is there so much money laying around in here? Did someone use your freaking house in reverse? Uh, wishing well, because you know there's always water in those, right? This one doesn't have water. And look at her. Oh, it's not. Oh, I always thought this was a 2D object, but it's not. It's, it's full 3D. That's cool. <laughs> Oh, I can actually interact with it a bit too. I, I actually, I, I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Oh, for some reason I thought that hole is open, but there's no water coming through. That's why I thought that black spot was. But nope. Alright, here's an example of one we have to throw. Wow, I'm actually surprised that worked. That was really a blind throw. Is there any straight acorns here? No, there's just leaves. Does it fall? This place must look bleak in the winter. Ugh! And nope. Nope. Let me pick it up. <laughs> There's only spots. I'm like, uh, I hope I can pick that up and it's not going to break the game. I haven't had that happen yet, though. Three holes left. Uh, this is the bird bath. I think it said somebody could get a letter from that. Uh, whatever. We'll go back for those doubloons. The doubloons are. Bam. Two holes left. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, it just it bounces me up. I see. Yay, we got the. Oh, and I have. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this music is, is kind of really cool. I, this would definitely be a very nostalgic song for me if I played this as a kid. Even though like, it sound, it's weird because it sounds nostalgic to me even though I have no connection to this game at all. I never played this as a kid, so... It's pretty strange of me to find it nostalgic even though, you know, I never played this as a children's. Yay, we did it, Toko Sandy. There's not even, like, victory music. It's just, it's just the normal SpongeBob music. Forever. Mission accomplished. All the holes are plugged. Thanks, SpongeBob. You're a real lifesaver. This place will probably stay soaked for days. As for me, I'm going upstairs to dry off. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, then, that was very quick. Whoa, she, like, really glitched out there. That was Tarnation. All those holes in my dome made this place wetter inside than out. I could sure use something special to spruce up this old hmm. tree. I know what you need, Sandy Chicks. But first, let's uh, let us explore the outside here, shall we? Let's see what else we have here. So I'm pretty sure this part here isn't connected to the rest of the level, or what what happens after we bring her presence. And yeah. These windows that are really strangely opening and closing by themselves. There can't be a breeze because we're underwater, right? Oh, please work. No! I have failed you all. I'm so sorry. I thought for sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure we, could, we have enough time to jump across here. Ew! Woo! That made me a bit scared. Woo! So scary. So, P. What was that for? Uh, window jumping, yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought that was the end of the uh, exploration here. Sure, let us collect some pants. I believe these leaves. Oh, they don't. I... Don't these look like some if you stood on them long enough, they had break? Maybe I'm thinking. Is there? There's... Isn't there leaves in Battle for Bikini Bottom that do that? I think there is. I'm running on the wheel. It's weird that that came up there. Look at those the balloons like hey look you could do something There's a thing you could do. Well, hold on. Let me collect these first. There we go. Oh god. Ugh. Yeah, so we gotta run on this wheel for a full minute Which I mean isn't really challenging because it's not like it ever speeds up or anything What I did the first time I did is I just stood on it and just kept floating down Now we're a fourth through it. Now we're a fifth through it. Now we're Still a fit through it. Probably some other weird fraction. And it stops spinning too if you jump to a weird spot. It'd be cool if this like kinda 
I don't know, went quicker or went weird ways. Like, I would suddenly stop and start going the other way, and it was actually challenging to stay on it. <laughs> but alas, it is not. Which, I mean, this definitely was capable. They were capable of doing that because, I mean, look at Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like, this game is so simplistic compared to, like, pretty much any other GameCube game. It's so weird to me. It's still fun, but it's so simplistic, you know? It's definitely, this always, this really just feels like an N64 game to me. We did it! Yay! Give me that ant! Oh, okay, let's just look at it instead. Ah, wow, it's much more shiny than I thought it would be. I got it! Yay! Okay, that's, we pretty much 100% of this area. <laughs> Up until we bring Sandy her prison. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already said that, Sandy. Pfft, I don't need to listen to you. Also, these holes aren't plugged up. Oh, no, I was gonna say, maybe that's on purpose. Maybe Sandy just leaves so she has a little bit of a water source, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just being a silly hilly billy. Loading, loading, loading. Yeah, I always forget how like long these loading um, screens take you. I, I always just like, I'm just gonna stop talking for a second. But I'm like, oh wait, I can't do that because there's just an awkward silence because of how long these loading screens are. Which to be fair, they're not really that long. Also from behind, Squidward Seat totally looks like, like a jellyfish at first glance to me. It's just so pink. It's just so pink, Squidward. How do you feel about your pink? It looks weird. It looks like a grandpa. He has no teeth. No teeth! Does Patrick have any teeth? I mean, Spongebob does. I don't know if Mr. Krabs does either. I feel like he does, though. I mean, obviously, like, fish and crustaceans and all don't have teeth. Well, I guess some fish do. Do fish have teeth? No. Some fish do, I know, but not all of them. Most of them don't, right? Eh, well, anyways. Let's bring Sandy her presents. And she's weird. Okay, we're seeing this weird cutscene again. I wonder what happened if I brought her the acorn, like, at the very start there. So she glitches out. Oh, okay. It's right here. It's right beside me. I got the present. Oh, I see what happened. We'd still get the same cutscene because it would automatically pop up beside there. So I could have brought it in here. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Hey there, SpongeBob. Back so soon? What you got? Ah, uh, presents. Well, I, I just thought you might like that. <laughs> it's so a awkward. really weird acorn that makes funny noises when you shake it. Oh no, be Maybe torture. You can use it as a decoration for your tree. Why, isn't this the fanciest doohickey you ever done saw? This will look great on top of my tree. Hold on a second. Oh Bob. great, what a. There. Perfect spot to put it. I'm sure nothing bad will come in this. <laughs> this is no acorn. Get up here right away. Wow. Well, at least I mean she she literally just found out, so it's it's fine, right? Um, cause I catch ten bees and wasps. So that's the one I th I saw, and I thought maybe when it says catch, you think you would have to use your jellyfish nap. I'm pretty sure you just have to defeat them in combat. Which is weird, cause it's like they're little bugs, right? You just have to swat it at them. But unfortunately, it's a bit more complicated than that. And yeah, all those leaves there, those are not solid. Do not jump on them. <laughs> I'll well, probably fall on them. The problem, Sandy. Nah. Yeah. The acorn you gave me is nothing more than a hive filled with angry bees and wasps. Now, someone has to get to the top of the tree and get it down. Let me guess. That someone is bright yellow and kind of square. Okay, I'll see what I can do to get the hive out of your tree. Oh. I'm sure it'll be fine, SpongeBob. So yeah, they're, they're giant wasps, which makes sense because I'm pretty sure SpongeBob and all his little furry friends are all very small peoples. Oh, there we go. They're very, they move so weird. The best way to kill them. Oh, do you... Do I need to hit him with my nets? I'm pretty sure there's a changing net around here somewhere, isn't, or changing uh. Tent, right? I think so. I think there's one on one of these branches up here. So let's quickly, yeah, there it is. Okay, phew. I don't have to go all the way down. I don't like where the first changing station is. It's like in a very annoying spot. Okay, it's got my fishing gear. Hmm. I I did not know. You gotta hit him with your net. Ah, that is what you do. Doesn't it just look like they're dying. <laughs> I am stopping them to the deaths. I guess we'll go down and work our way back up. Well, I might as well collect everything that's here already. Because I'm already doing that, you know. I'm so greedy. I need all the monies. Oh, I already got 100 doubloons in here. It's so easy. 
So easy peasy lemon squeezy cover girl. Beautiful cover girl. Wasp, get over here. I wish to stab you in the face. Stab, stab you in the face. Oh snap. What is this one? B. I mean, what is the, what is the task for it, I wonder? I don't feel like I did anything. <laughs> oh no! Eh, when you die, it just starts back over here. It's weird that Sandy just has these weird mushrooms growing out of the tree. Instead of having like an actual pathway, because I mean, she obviously comes up here a lot. Right. These The tops of these branches are pretty carved out. No! It's not moving on its own. I know. Oh, do they come back alive? No, you know, I don't think I was down here yet. How does I touch the glass? Anything? Oh, wow! I don't know what happened there. I thought the branch was underneath me. Maybe that glass was farther away than I thought. That's probably what happens. Now there's these weird holes up there. I don't know what those are. Either- No! <laughs> I remember having a lot of issues with this, too. Walking up here. This is like the first instance. I mean, really having issues with the, uh... Not the death perception, but, um... There you go again. Like, when you walk, sometimes you just, it kind of just pushes you off. And there's no way to really tell that you're getting pushed off until... You're, it's already too late. And there's no way to, like, recover horrible there it goes again okay i i freaking survived though just jump right honestly <laughs> the best way to get around sometimes in these areas is just keep jumping and floating your way to victory yay well i was hoping to complete this area in one episode but you know what maybe i should cut it cut it close or uh cut it to the end here cut the episode that's what i mean because we have a bit of the tree left and then we have I uh, gotta talk to Sandy again, and then we're gonna have to find the Flying Dutchman's treasure. Because if you take a look, we have almost completed this area. Yeah, it's pretty dang short. So, yes, in the next episode, we'll complete the tree dome and then figure out what else is in the world of the SpongeBobs. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, the best way to support me is by leaving a like on the video and subscribing to me if you haven't already. If there's any games you want to see me play, the best way to suggest them to me is checking out the top link in my video description. It'll lead you to a video where you can leave suggestions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll take you guys later. Bye-bye, SpongeBob says. That's what he says. Is there a way to make him talk? I don't think there's a way to make him talk. Okay, bye!